Hi guys, welcome to Canadian Tiny Homestead. How y'all doing? So today is May 9th. This is the date that I've decided that I'm going to start my vlog. Um, I haven't been staying in the trailer yet, but tonight is the night. Um, if not tomorrow night, but right now, good weather. I wanted to have really good weather to start the night off. Um, I didn't want rainy weather, I didn't want a storm, I didn't want cloudy, I wanted a nice start. Call me weird and picky, but I, I wanted to at least give it a try. So here I am, I'm currently in the trailer right now. It's painted, it's all unpacked and everything like that. If you've seen the other videos, if not, feel free to go check them out. Um, I do have a vlog. Um, I don't know the exact name of it, I'll have to get back on that. But today is May 9th, okay? in a few in a week or so it'll be my birthday so this is the first night first day my thoughts here we go so the main reason i wanted to do this was i wanted to learn to become more self-sufficient um i was used to being a roommate for people um trying to find a job and finding unsuccessful sometimes with my anxiety and now it is um long time ago i used to work in a carnival um wasn't making much i was literally making 800 every two months or every two weeks yeah that's not a lot 800 every two weeks and it didn't pay much you know i was always spending money away and without a care for it so here i am i'm currently wanted to live in this trailer um learn to be more self-sufficient more self-reliant on myself as well as not to be so lazy. So this is what that experience is all about. Um, I'll try to get video logs out at least once a week to uh, see what's going on, any changes or anything. So right now we currently have, I currently have a wood storage temporary belt. Um, like I said, I'm in the trailer, it's painted. I have my dishes, I have my food. Um, I have my faith. I'm very proud of my faith. Or not proud, no. Proud, no. I'm very grateful that I have my faith. Um, I built a temporary shower. I have the hammock up for my relaxation. What do I do for technology? Not a lot. I have a solar panel. I have my solar lights. I have my phone currently. That's probably my only form of technology. I'm going to be getting a laptop, but a slow process there. Um, I only get a laptop for my photo editing or my video editing for the YouTube channel. So here I am three minutes in. Wow. Yeah, I look at time because I don't know what to talk about. So it's a nice sunny day today. I feel great. You know, I'm still on my medication for my antidepressants, which has almost been a month now, almost, almost one month since I've been on the antidepressants. I feel quite good. I feel quite nice. You know, I don't drink coffee anymore. I just drink tea, green tea, but I think I drink a lot of it now um i don't smoke anymore um don't do drugs i don't really drink i haven't drank in over a year if i have it's probably been like one glass and yeah so i'm not really having drinking and probably a sip or a beer or so here i am i'm currently in my trailer and so yeah what am what do i hope to obtain from this well other than more be so self-reliant, but I want to be more comfortable in tiny spaces. Um, I'm a big person. I'm 6'3", and I weigh 160 pounds at this moment of time. <sighs> yeah. Um, I haven't seen many video logs, so this is going to be my first ever, uh, the knowledge I've learned. <sighs> yeah, I'm rambling. I'm rambling, rambling, little, 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 little. So... I, uh, when I do video editing, normally for my videos, I'm just starting, so I'm using Windows Movie Maker. Um, just following the basics. Put a title, put an ending. That's pretty much all I'm doing. Um, I don't really know how to edit videos and put two, three or four videos, how to put pictures in. I don't know how to do that yet. So that's a learning process right now. Um, I'm currently a volunteer for the Bike Shack, which is a very interesting program for cyclists. Um, we re-put bikes together and like community spokes and 
like through humanity, except for we keep them here. Like, but it, we are used to be called community spokes. So by the time this probably video gets really popular, the bike track will be the bike track. But it, right now it's called the community spokes. But we're trying to change the, or get the name change, or my coordinator is. So my boss. So yeah, really nice guy. His name's Ian. Terrific guy. Really friendly attitude and all. Um, I enjoy being there. It kind of makes me feel like I'm doing something at least more productive for the city. Not just for the city, but for myself. I feel happy with myself. So yes, um, probably wondering what I'm playing with. It is a selfie stick. Yes. I only have one for this phone when I'm going outside. And, um, my girlfriend, my camera girl, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Shun, Ricky Shun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, May 9th. Dreams, my inspirations. I'm very well inspired by God. Um, very, very into faith. Um, I know faith is being sure of what you hope for. I actually have a poster that says that. So before everybody goes, oh, he's so deep. Uh, I just figured I'd say that. Um, I have an angel over here. I also have a kitty cat. You guys probably see the kitty cat. Just so gonna grab it. Yeah. This is actually my piggy bank. So. so a mother or father and their kitten. Alright, so as I'm watching the camera, I'm not watching it as I put it up, so. So there's that. Um I have a lot of books to read. Lots of material up here. I don't know what to talk about. So, seven minutes in right now. It is probably like 6.30 or 7 o'clock at night right now. Uh, night, but it, it's daylight. Um, nice in here. Quiet, I must admit. I have a fly I need to rescue soon because they're trying to get out, but yeah. It's a nice day today. It's not too bad. It's not too cold or too warm. It's not too hot, I should say. It's warm, but it's not too hot. Hmm. So, yeah. I will be starting a garden. Um, I hope to grow a lot of things. Mostly the basics, you know, the potatoes, lettuce, carrots... Stuff like that. Um, I want to have a herb garden because I want to do a lot of dry herbs. And I want to dry my own food as well as I want to make teas and things like that. I, I, I'm i going to be getting a dehydrator in a few months. Two, two to three months. So I want to dehydrate a lot of my food. So um, yeah, canning. Canning will become my favorite thing probably for a lot of my food. Because I need to make sure I can survive the winter for the winter experience. Yes, this isn't just a, a summer thing. You know, I'm trying to successfully go year-round like this. It's a different experience. I do pay for property tax. or I, I Not property tax. Wow. I pay for rent. So I do have that. And the propane does cost money too. So... Um, but yeah, I do, I'm going to have a journal, gardening journal, and learning different recipes as I go. So how do I feel today? Pretty good. You know, I'm feeling like it's a good day today. Um, I'm kind of nervous about my videos, I'll be honest. I, am, I don't feel like I'm getting wet feet, but I feel I'm getting a little overwhelmed on my building projects because my wood shelter, um, it took probably about 24 cement blocks and what I did was I put the cement blocks and put um, a log in between them but I put them in four high and three out there's a there's a le there's a the corner ones and then there's in the middle um, because we're putting a camper thing on top as you probably saw from other videos if not again feel free to go check them out so there's that, after seeing that, I was kind of overwhelmed because I was like, okay, because I got to build a shower house, you know, the bathroom house. 
and the measurements are 40 logs. And I was just like, oh my god, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, and yeah. I did not think that through, and so I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed today by that, but it's got to get done. So I keep telling myself, if I don't do it today, guess what? You got to do it tomorrow. You don't do it tomorrow, eventually you're going to be piled up with things to do. So everything, every time, every day I got something to do. So I need to get on that, and I can't just keep, this is where my laziness is trying to take over, and I just don't want to do it because I'm just like, oh, I'll do it another day. I don't want to do it right now. And i got to do it. Simple put. It has to get done. If not, you're just going to have more to do and you're going to get more overwhelmed. And I don't want to quit this. I, I want to see this through. Normally I don't finish, I'm told, by my my stepmother quite regularly that... Or not, not quite regularly, but I am told growing up was that I don't finish what I start. Both my father and my stepmother tell me that. And so to me, I kind of want to not prove them wrong, but prove them wrong, prove what they said wrong to me. So, yeah, this is sort of a dream I've kind of thought about for a while, and it's not something I thought my whole life about, but I kind of like the theory of living in the woods, quietness, like, beautiful, like, the house is not super far, but it is a little walk, quite a walk to get up there. Um, it's uphill, or it's, sorry, it's downhill, I'm uphill. So walking back does take a lot. I'm going to be carrying my water, um, carrying my groceries, trying not to use electricity as much as possible. Like I'm out here, I am currently don't have electricity. But I'm not going to say, you know, if your parents ask you out for dinner, I'm not going to say, no, sorry, I'm this project, I'm devoted, I, I can't, I can't have anything that's electricity made, no, 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 let me out here, you know, a lot of times I'm out here, but there are the occasional times that I come down and socialize with them and have dinner and have a good time, give them a hand, and but that's another thing, I want to be more helpful, so, Here's Canada's tiny homestead, and yeah, that's pretty much me getting deep on a first initial vlog. Alright, so I'll make another one in within a week or so and publish it. If you have any questions or things you wish that I would take over in my videos, please feel free to make them in the comments. And please share my video. Um, you know, it's not like you have to share it, I just, I kind of want to learn to help people, and I like to help people. So these videos is a way I can help somebody. So if you got tips or something, please feel free to make a comment. Um, but yeah, thank you and stay tuned for the next video.